Jose Mourinho, great to see you here in Boston, first of all. You're going to be back in the United States come the summer as part of the World Football Challenge. As a coach and as coach of Inter, what do you get out of a tournament like this? First of all, I love it. I did uh, three pre-seasons in the US with, um, with Chelsea and um, I just love it. From the facilities which are really good, um, the weather helped us because when you go back to Europe we get uh, a really warm summer and uh, the transfer is, um, is good. And the competition, because the level of competition here is high for us. We come for pre-season for the beginning of, of our season and uh, we get real, real matches uh, around. Even with Chelsea we played uh, twice against um, the MLS uh, uh, chosen team with, with their best players. And we thought the level could be um, could be easier for us, and wasn't because the the intensity of the game and um, the rhythm they, they they brought to the game gave us a big chance to 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 improve. And I I'm not the kind of, of manager that likes um, easy things in the preseason. I go I like to go immediately uh, direct to competition. And when we have these uh, these matches involved in a tournament. That has always a meaning. The meaning of winning is an extra, um, extra pressure, as extra motivation for the for the training camp. And we we can play here against uh, Chelsea, against AC Milan. This is uh, really good. Hopefully, we win the Serie A. And if we win the Serie A, we have to go to Beijing to play the the Italian uh, Super Cup in in August. So in July, I need matches. I need real matches. I need crowds. I need everything that, that the game has, and here we will have it. You mentioned crowds there. Are you surprised when you come to the United States, supposedly not a football country, that you get these huge crowds for what are summer exhibition matches? Yeah, it's incredible, because uh, in Europe we get the idea of that the, 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 the pure American sport is, of course, a favorite for you. Uh, NFL, NBA, all of this is... Uh, is your culture, but we realize when you come here that people is in love with uh, with 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 soccer. Maybe if in the future um, MLS can bring uh, more quality to the to the American soccer fans, maybe you get uh, a bigger sport, very very similar with the passion we have in um, in Europe. And you realize here that uh, many 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 girls, many kids are in love with the. Uh, with the game, not just because they practice, but also because they watch it. And um, we come here and realize that people know us. People they know the most important competitions in uh, in Europe. And uh, and for us, it's like a challenge, like a challenge to come here and to 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 show people the responsibility we have to our um, to our game. I, I always come here. I always play with my best team. I never play with. Um, a secondary team. I always care about the result. I always care about the image we give about um, about our game because I think is uh, is very very important the message we leave. It's going to be a bit surreal though, isn't it? Coming to Boston to play AC Milan, the Derby della Madonnina, as it's known in Italy. We don't quite have the Duomo Cathedral in Boston, but uh, it is going to be odd, isn't it? Ah, it's great. I I did uh, a couple of uh, Chelsea Milan. Uh, in here, in uh, once here in Boston, another one in in the Giant Stadium at, at New York, and was great. And was between uh, an English and um, Italian team. So now Inter against Milan, which is always, always a game, always a game. No friendlies, uh, no small Inter against Milan. That is always, always big. Big Italian community. People cares about their clubs. They have, uh, I think, even even more when they are abroad. They have in their heart their their club. In Italy, they say that uh, two things they can never change in their life: a mom and and club. So it's in their blood. So I think it can be phenomenal. You've observed, no doubt, the progress of the American player as a coach over the past few seasons, and we're seeing American players popping up now with prominent clubs in European countries, especially in England over the last two yeah, or three years. I know. Um, by one side, I think it's good because they go to top level uh, football. They can attract attention from US because they are there. At the same time, 
I feel MLS loses uh, because if you can keep here your best uh, your best players, the quality of your game is um, is of course better. We have it uh, very similar. We cannot compare countries, but we have very similar in Portugal uh, in this moment. Uh, some players they never played in Portugal. When they are 18, 19, they go immediately abroad. Uh, they become great players because they have great conditions for evolution. Um, the country wins, uh, but at the same time, the national competition lose. And here, of course, when they are in the Premiership, when they are in, in the Bundesliga, it's great for their development, it's great. Maybe for the national team in the future, it's great because they get experience at a high level. They play every game against uh, the best players, against the best teams. So when they are together to play for the national team, to play in the World Cup, for example, uh, they have um, a big knowledge, a big culture uh, of that high-level game. So I think it's better. For the national team, it's better. If I was a national coach, I would be very, very pleased with my players playing in, in high-level football in, uh, in Europe. But, of course, MLS teams, they lose, they lose the quality and the potential of these boys. You're not ready to be a national team coach just yet, I'm sure, but maybe at some point in the future. Can you imagine that the USA job would ever hold appeal? Yes, I would. I would. In this moment, no, because uh, as you were saying, I'm too young for that uh, for that kind of job. I say I like to play every week, twice, sometimes three times a week. I like to train every day. When you become a national coach, uh, life changes completely. You become much more an analyst than than a coach. You you train uh, twice a month. You play once a month. Sometimes once every two months. Uh, you have to wait for the the big competition to arrive, to be really involved in a in a huge competition like World Cup or American Cup. So it's, in this moment it's not for me. But in the future, yes. And the U.S. can be in my future, yes. Not just as a national team manager, never know, but even a club manager because it's the kind of country where you feel you could do something. You could do something uh, because um, huge potential. You are a, um, a country of sports where everybody is in love with with the sport, so if somebody with big knowledge of the game in, in high level in Europe can come and give a little, a little push, a little contribution, I'll be pleased. We'll watch with interest in a few years' time, you never know. You never know.